Hey guys, so I'm gonna be doing a quick um, little like five minute makeup tutorial um, and I'm just getting myself ready to film another video for you guys so I just thought I'd record myself now and this is like basically what I do when um, I just want to wear makeup like for work but I really don't want to sit there and like take the time to do everything so yeah let's get started <laughs> Um, so, usually when I do a 5 minute makeup tutorial, I don't really put any primer. You can if you have like a mini size or something. So we're going to start with, let's start with the foundation and stuff. So I'm going to use my Maybelline 24 hour Superstay foundation in the number 330. Um, and I'm going to go in with my Sonia Kashuk, um, beauty sponge, beauty blender. Um, I got this at Target for like about 10 bucks and it came in a two pack, but of course my babies, my dogs, um, got to the first one that I was using and chewed it up and I had to throw it away. So yeah, but um, the original size is like this big and it expanded to like this big once you wet it and it's really, really, really squishy. It's not really dense or tough or anything. So yeah, um, yeah, this is like 10 bucks. So let me just... Put on my foundation and I just like literally squirt it like this on my face. This is about a drip, so let me catch it. And I literally just pounce it. I like that it has a flat edge, but it's like really, really big. So it helps coverage, it helps to like cover your face and your foundation like quicker. It doesn't take as long. So, and I'm just doing this. It always looks so orange on camera, but I promise you guys, in real life, it matches really, really well. And plus, it has to oxidize. So, I am... If you see me looking down, looking into my um, mirror, kind of blend this into my hairline, over my eyelids to kind of, like, prime it and neutralize the color. So sometimes I need, oh, you know, like just a little bit more foundation. So like maybe over here. Under my eyes, and I even do it over my eyebrows. So, this is what I do, and I'm like done already. Like, this is the best sponge ever. Um, all right, so that is that. Now, I'm going to I'm gonna do some concealer. So, we're gonna go in with the Jordana Complete Cover Maximum Coverage, and this is in Honey Olive. And this tube I've had it for like quite a quite some time. And it's like pretty full. I don't use a lot, so and I don't usually use it all the time anyways. So I'll just do that and then that and then that. I don't really like doing concealer on my forehead. I feel like I don't know. It's already like has its own highlight, so I don't really do it. I'm gonna use the other side of the sponge, the pointy side. And just get right up in there and like a little goes totally like a long long way so and I always do that Gonna blend a little bit. On the cupid bow, basically my whole lip. <laughs> it gets covered with lipstick anyway, so. Just 
just blend it a little bit. And then, so then now I take my NYX SFX, um, ooh, for some reason a whole bunch came out, um, powder, HD powder, I think this is, no, this is just an SFX powder. Um, and then I take the other side that has no product, so like product, no product, uh, the pointy side, and then I just dip it in, and I like bake a little bit. And then my nose. This is usually what I do. Ooh, getting flowies everywhere. I look a little funny, but um, I'm telling you it works. Go in with my LA Colors pressed powder and a big fluffy brush, foundation brush, blush brush. And I just dust all this everywhere. And then I'm going to go back in later and like dust all this off. So then now we're going to do eyes. So for the eyes, I like to keep it simple, but like, you know, make it a look, if that makes sense. Um, so I'm going to take my NYX, I literally travel all with all of this stuff, I'm going to show you guys. I travel with all this stuff in this little MAC makeup bag. Um, and in case I have a need to do my makeup, you know. Um, so yeah, the NYX, uh, barely, beyond nude, bare it all color. And on a blending brush, like this. And I just take a tiny bit and put this in the crease. And really like try to blend it out. See? Do you guys see the difference? Like there's some depth here and then there's nothing here. Sometimes I might not even put in a crease color. I'll just put in the lid color that I always use. Which I'll show you guys once I put that on. So... Like, look at that. Just make sure you blend. Because, you know, blending is key. We don't want no harsh lines or anything. So. And then, so then now I take the, um. So this is my, like, lid color that I always go for. Um, this is the e.l.f. Long Lasting Lustrous Eyeshadow. And, oh. I think I used to have a sticker on here, but I don't anymore, so I don't know the name of it. And it looks like that. You guys can see it. So it's kind of like creamy, but then it's kind of like flaky a little bit because it has like glitter and stuff. And I just literally use my finger and I just put it on my lid like this. I literally took up all the product from my finger. If you guys can see it. See? So then I'm going to go back in. Just do the other eye. And then I go back in with the blending brush and just blend a little bit more just to make sure it looks all good. And then I go back in with a little bit more product and I add a little bit of um, the crease color on my lash line. Only on the outer half though. 
stuff like that. Then I'm going to move on to my eyebrows. I'm just going to brush them out with a spoolie. They have to get done, so I'm sorry if they look a little funky. But they don't look that funky with makeup on. Um, and then take my e.l.f. eyebrow kit in medium. With a little brush that it comes in, take some of the dark wax color. And just fill in whatever I need to fill in. So it's usually not that much, but this eyebrow needs a little bit of hair up here. And then brush it out. So your eyebrows are like sisters, not twins. That's usually what I do for the brows. Some days they can look a little bit extra like weird for some reason or sparse or anything. Um, and I don't know why. Um, so I'm going to just brush this off. And just like use the rest around my face. And I'm gonna take my e.l.f. I love e.l.f. obviously for some reason. Um, cool bronzer palette that I hit pan on with a contour brush. Swirl it around, tap off excess, and just go in for that little contour, honey. This is literally what I do, but I do it like a little bit faster. Obviously, if I'm not talking, if I'm just listening to music, I get done a whole lot faster. And then I go like this. And then I am going to do a little bit of waterline eyeliner, some waterline. Do you guys see the difference? Like what like eyeliner does. Like it just grounds the whole freaking look and I love it. Good. Good from that. So for the top lashes, we're gonna do um the what is this? L'Oreal, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, can't think. L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. Um, and this is like in, I think black is black or something like that. So we're going to do some mascara. And we're just going to go like this. Sometimes I curl my lashes if I have the time. Sometimes I don't. But like, look at that. Look at those lashes. Mm. Then I'm going to go in with the bottom. I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal Telescopic. Which I need a new tube of. This one's just like, I think, done. And it has a wand that looks like that, if you guys can see. Can I? Can I? Can I like focus? Okay, like, no. Focus. There you go. Best wand for bottom lashes. It really like separates them and coats them. this uh, cover effects custom enhancing drops this is in the color moonlight if it'll like focus for you there you go um and I just literally boop, boop. Boop, boop. Boop. and then like that and then like that and then I take this little mini real techniques uh I think this is called a magic eraser 
sponge or something like that um but i do it dry and as you can see i used it before and i just take it and i blend out the highlighter And I just blend, 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 blend. So I'm just gonna line my lips and then going with my lip color so I change my lip color like I always do everything else I always do the same but the lip color I tend to change um so I'll do like a red lip a dark lip like I'm doing today or like a light pink lip um it really depends on my mood and what I feel like is going gonna go with my face today for the reason but um yeah I'm just gonna light my lips so let's get to it Anyways, so then I'm going to put on um, the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Transylvania. My freaking favorite. I love this freaking thing. I love this color. So cute. I don't care if it's springtime. I don't care if it's summertime. I will wear this every single time. Like, it's just, ugh. Like, look at that. Look at that color. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And it always smells so good. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm. And then I let it dry and then I do another layer and it just looks perfect. And this is the final look. This is usually what I do. Um, obviously, it would take me a lot faster um, when, in real life because um, usually I'm not talking. So I just like boop, 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 get it done, and then I'm out the door. But because this is a video and I have to talk and explain to you guys what I'm doing and what I'm using, um, it just takes me a little bit longer. And I'm just like really trying to like get it look good, you know, because this is on camera, honey. Like... I have to look good. I'm sorry. My eye is like totally like tearing up right now and I have like no idea why. But yeah, this is what I do. Like look at that highlight. Got a little dimension and contour. Like it's a look. It's a look. Tell me this is not a look. Honey. Yes. Um, but yeah, this is like a quick little like maybe five to ten minute makeup tutorial for you guys um in real life you guys can get this done use what you got you know if you want to do a little sparkle do a little sparkle if you want to do a matte color do a matte color all over your lid you'll be fine add a little like soft brown in there a little you know dimension a little crease color and you will be fine go with whatever look of uh whatever lipstick color you want to go with um for what you're wearing and you will be gucci honey all right so i'll see you guys in my next video um and yes i will be looking the same this was 
to prepare myself for my next video. Uh, so yeah, um, I'm gonna go and do that right now, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, click the notification button so you can be notified when I upload another video, and yeah, bye guys!